hi everyone in this video we are going to discuss that how to create a gerber file for antennas fabrication uh, basically when you design an antenna in cst and then you simulate and check the results of that antenna and uh, if you are satisfied with these results uh, then obviously you will have to go for pcb fabrication and for that purpose gerber files are required Moreover, Gerber files can be used for different purposes. Uh, for example, uh, some researchers convert these Gerber files uh, into high quality images uh, to represent the front and back view of different antennas in their research articles. So Gerber files can be used for different purposes and it is very important to know that how we can create Gerber file in CST so as far as the basic uh, concept of gerber file is concerned uh, gerber file is nothing but uh, it is an open 2d uh, binary vector image file format and uh, it is a standard file that can be uh, used in pcb industry uh, for the fabrication of uh, uh, different antennas and different components so let's begin that how we can uh, create a gerber file in cst uh, so this is our reference antenna and uh, it is simple micro strip patch, patch antenna which is operating at 2.45 gigahertz so uh, we have already designed uh, this antenna in our tutorial number eight so if you have any confusion about uh, its design and basic concepts then uh, you can just watch tutorial number eight uh, and the link of that tutorial uh, has been provided in description so basically uh, this antenna uh, has its uh, uh, main three parts the first one is the ground the second one is substrate and the third one is patch right so we have to create uh, uh, the gerber files for ground substrate and patch right so for example if we want to create the gerber file for ground then just select the ground and go to the modeling and from import export uh, you have to export single uh, single layer gerber file right so just click on single layer and uh, then press enter so in this way you can uh, create the gerber file of ground for example if i want to save that gerber files in document and uh, that is the gerber file of ground so i can save it as a ground right so uh, similarly you will uh, create the gerber file for substrate and patch so you will uh, repeat the same procedure you will select the substrate and uh, after uh, clicking on import export obviously you will click on gerber single layer but now uh, at this stage you will face an error and uh, <coughs> that error is no layer could be determined for the gerber export so uh, basically this error is uh, just because of the position of substrate uh, basically uh, cst can provide us the gerber files for uh, those images that are placed at the origin so uh, this substrate is not placed at the origin because uh, if you check uh, in details uh, then along z axis uh, it is going to start from 0 0.035 because in our design uh, we started uh, the ground from 0 and then there was a thickness of 0 0.035 for ground and uh, at the top of ground we have uh, started the substrate so now you can just uh, uh, change this value to uh, 0 to 1.6 right so you can just click on ok and then you can uh, create the gerber file for substrate so now you will repeat the same procedure and uh, you will click on gerber single layer and now you will be able to create the gerber file of the substrate right so you can uh, save it as a substrate right so just save it similarly uh, when you will create the uh, gerber file of patch then you will uh, proceed for the same procedure but again you will face an error because you know that uh, we have designed this patch at the top of the substrate so uh, from 0 0.035 to 1.6 there was a substrate and uh, 
at the top of substrate we designed that patch so now we will change the values so z min will be 0 and as you know that uh, the thickness of this uh, uh, patch is 0 0.035 so you will change it accordingly so similarly you will change all the components of the patch right so you will have to change the values of all the components for example you will have to change the position of this feed line as well so it will start from 0 and its thickness is 0 0.035 so after changing its position uh, you can easily uh, create the gerber file of patch right so you can save it as a patch so uh, this is a very simple method that uh, you can easily change the position of uh, substrate and patch so there are various ways uh, in which you can change the position but the basic thing behind the error while uh, creating the gerber files is that all the objects that you want to uh, create uh, a gerber file must be placed at origin right so that's all about uh, the creation of gerber files and uh, in our next video we will discuss that how we can uh, view these gerber files uh, uh, in uh, online websites or uh, using the different softwares like ads or in cst so please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon for our latest videos thank you so much